What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Jersey Boys Outdoors. This is our June 8th fishing report with Jersey Shore. Guys, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you're not already a subscriber, we'd appreciate it if you do so. Uh, and if you guys are looking to send us any reports, this is our text line right here, or you can go down in our description below. You can hit, up, hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, or through email. We'd appreciate it. Don't and try to get those to us by Tuesday. Yes, That's yes. Tuesday too. night at the latest. Yeah. We do a film this on Wednesday. We'd appreciate that. <laughs> Uh, also, don't forget about our June largest fluke contest going on right now. This is a contest for New Jersey only. Uh, the fish has to be caught in New Jersey. Um, and else? sent to us. And sent to us. Right. It has to be yeah. sent to us. If we uh, go find you, you don't qualify. That's correct. Right. If we, if we come to you and say, hey, you on Facebook, can we use that fish? And you're like, sure. Like, well, it doesn't count for the contest. So hit us up with your largest fish. Hit us up with your reports. Always, as, as, as usual, the more information, the better. Uh, and I think that's. That's it. About it. Oh, we'll have we'll bring the, the what you win for the month of June uh, next week. I will show that to you. Uh, we'll get that prize back to you. So let's get into our report. All right, I got Dennis uh, Huber and his son Tommy. They were spear fishing off a couple a uh, couple wrecks off of Atlantic City and Brigantine. They brought back a bunch of sea bass and even caught a few lobsters. Uh, Danielle Rose was out in the Great Bay on the bonefish, landed a slot fluke. They went out with Team Machine. They landed 40, 40 uh, keepers sea bass. And Ted Hines, he landed his personal best tog, this 15.8 pound monster. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, if you did that saying something, because I mean, that dude, that I dude catches, catches a lot of, tog yeah, catches all a lot of tog. the time. I think he got. I think we almost like ended the year last year with his personal best. Didn't we know the yeah, personal best? Yeah, yeah that's, that's cool. Kind of nice. All right, then I got uh, Derek. You. You humans, uh, he was fishing at the Absecon Inc. Inlet uh, using minnows when he landed this nice 25 inch fluke. And Jimmy, full of sun, was spear fishing in Asbury Park uh, when he was able to bring home this nice fluke. That's two guys that got spear fishing. That's, That's pretty, pretty cool. cool. Spear fishing is making, like, well, making a comeback or I don't just know. making a start. I don't Seems know. Seems hard. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty cool, though. You know what I mean? As you could, go select your fish, you know, you right, find yeah. it out with that one <laughs> and uh, take it. <laughs> <laughs> that maybe someday we'll try that. Yeah, maybe. All right, <laughs> I got Carl. I got Carl Chin and Carl Hartman. They were in LBI uh, fishing the surf when they land a few short fluke and a blue fish. Uh, Carl said the fluke were biting on only white gulp. All right, and I got Jamie Grant, who is an American Angler member. She was fishing the Great Bay using pink shine gulp. Uh, when she was able to land this nice 20 and a half inch fluke. MJ Fox convinced his buddy Chris Rogers into going fishing for his first time in years. And of course, as always, the new guy caught the biggest fish. Chris <laughs> was able to land this nice 22 inch fluke while fishing near the clam stakes in the Great Bay. They also landed a few shorts. Uh, they're using bucktails uh, with green gold. I don't know what it is about that whole beginner's luck thing, but it's, it's, it's really a thing. It's true, man. Yeah. It's true. Howard and Wayne were also fishing the Great Bay. They hit the clam stakes, the channel, and the intercoastal. Uh, they landed a few shorts and this 18 and a half inch keeper. And I got to say, I love the shirt. That's a nice That's little shirt. Good. We appreciate the support. <laughs> uh, then I have Brian Oldschmidt, uh, who on June 2nd landed our current leading uh, fluke for the month of June. And because of our new contest rules, we cannot tell you how big it is. But let's just say it's a monster. He was using a 3H jig head with a gulp when he landed it on his first drop. He put it in the box, went home. Carl Chen, take notes, buddy. <laughs> he, he put it in the box and that was it. And once when, you, you land a monster fish like that in your first drop, it's not going to get any better, so just call it a day. <laughs> just call it a day right there. Uh, then we have Guillermo, who was fishing the Point Pleasant Canal, and he was able to land this nice 22-and-a-half-inch fluke while using a uh, five-inch pink grubs on a high-low rig. Uh, then Brandy Hillgrass sent, uh, took, a, took her daughter Savannah to the crabbing tournament in Barnegat, and Savannah was able to win first place for most crabs caught. Brandy was also able to uh, teach her how to cast a spinning rod for the first time. What you're seeing here is her very first cast, uh, which is not too shabby. I told Brandy, I know people who've been fishing for years that can't cast as well. So uh, Savannah, stick with it and continue the family, family tradition of fishing. Uh, it's a great sport and a great way to spend time with your mom. So listen, we uh, appreciate everyone, all the support you've given us, and uh, continue to send us your reports, and we will see you next week. Good luck, guys.